Hey guys, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing and today we're going to be tying a parachute ant. Super easy fly. You can use it pretty much May through, depending on when your first frost is, maybe October, November. Has a really good profile in the water, sits right in the film, and it's a fly that I sort of turn to whenever you see fish rising, you're not sure what's going on. Also a really good fly to drop off of a larger dry fly, maybe a caddis, hopper, that sort of thing. It's got parachute posts adjust that for visibility, but again, pretty easy fly. So let's dive in and get started right now. So we're gonna roll into this parachute ant and start with an A-Rex FW502 hook. And I'm just using standard Danville flat wax nylon here. We're gonna lay a little base down and we'll clip our excess off. So now that we have our thread base laid down. I'm going to bring this thread about an, maybe two eyes length behind the eye. Move on into some white polypropylene yarn. This is real good stuff for parachutes. Floats well, takes a uh, floating well, and it's quite visible. Comes in a million colors. Right now I'm just picking it out with my bodkin because I uh, sometimes these fibers right off the card are a little clumped together and that will just sort of make your fly look a little less appealing. So cut yourself off about an inch of this, maybe a little more if you wanna err on the side of generosity. And what I'm gonna do is just remove some of these fibers because I'm gonna actually double this over. So we'll cut it down by about 20% of its volume. And we're gonna come right in here, just lay it straight on top of the hook shank. One pin trap here another one to secure, maybe another one, and then just pull that all straight up. And whenever you do that, come through here with some nice sort of helicopter wraps. And I know this can be a real pain for some people. The way that I do it is just maintain a delicate yet pretty moderate amount of tension on here. And I'm just working my way up the post. And if you don't like white or if you have a uh, you know, want some extra visibility, you can make this post really any color that you like, but I tend to just like the way that white looks. So now we'll hit it with a few figure eight wraps and that's our parachute post, nice and easy. We can even it up, we'll end up trimming at the end of the fly anyway. All right, so from here, I'm gonna actually just get my hackle tied in. We're using, this is a piece of a saddle hackle from a Keo value pack. It's a, uh, Real good bang for your buck. I like them, especially whenever you're not, you know, tying a million of one fly. So I'm just gonna tie that in right in front of the post and right behind the eye. And then we can let that hang. Oop. Now we're gonna bring our thread back to the rear and we're gonna create an abdomen out of a super fine dry fly dubbing, color black. Ants come in cinnamon, uh, maybe a little darker red, but black is just a good go-to. And when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that your rear, the abdomen of the ant is just a little bigger than the thorax, just because that's how they, uh, how it looks in nature. So you wanna kinda captivate that natural profile as best as possible. It's a real good fly for those sort of afternoons where you see fish rising and you just don't know what they're rising to. There's no hatch going on but you see fish coming up at a day like that on Penn's Creek in Pennsylvania, and somehow this ant worked on them. But build that ball up, use your dubbing, and I want it to be just a little bigger. I'm not quite happy with that size. Add a little more dubbing here, and that should be enough. And if you guys have questions or comments or anything like that, feel free to leave those below. If you have a story about a fish you caught on an ant, or if your favorite time of year is terrestrial season, go ahead and drop that below. All right, so I'm okay with that. And now we're just gonna run our thread right on up to the thorax. We want that separation there so it's nice and distinct. So now we're gonna apply more dubbing for the thorax. And again, you want your thorax to be just a bit smaller than that abdomen. We'll hit it with some figure eight wraps. 
and we're just about good here that's actually enough so we'll remove that and bring our thread just behind our eye so now for this we're going to wind our hackle see how many wraps we can get out of here it should be about somewhere between three to six and if you guys like what you see be sure to hit the like button below and if you really like it hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of these videos that we have coming in the future all right so i'm happy with that so what i'm going to do is peel these fibers back and just tie it right on in and i like to pull this tight that hackle and then I'm just gonna hit it with a quick half hitch we've probably all been there where you wrap a hackle and then break your thread and it's just not a good place to be so now that we've secured it with a half hitch we can cut that stem out and now we're gonna hit it with a whip finish and all the materials that we use for this fly, granted there's only about three or four of them, are found at tridentflyfishing.com. So you can get all that there and orders over 49 bucks, we'll ship for free. All right, so hit it with a whip finish. We'll cut this and then we're gonna trim the post because you just don't want that. Trim it to be about eh, maybe 40% of the length of the shank. You can make it bigger if you need more visibility, but that is a parachute ant. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.